And welcome back. Mark, in the past week, two more candidates for governor, governor have filed, uh, have announced in the, have filed and announced in the Democratic field, nonprofit executive John Barron and former Secretary of Labor and former DNC Chairman Tom Perez. What do you make of the contestants that include current controller Peter Francho, former Prince George's County Executive Rashern Baker, former Education Secretary John King, former Attorney General Doug Gansler, philanthropist Wes Moore, now Barron, now Perez. Pretty impressive list. What do you make of them? It's a long, complicated list. I mean, obviously, among people who followed Maryland politics, Rashern Baker and Peter Francho are sort of paid their dues and have been active public figures. And uh, I would generally think that that would give them a leg up, uh, where obviously we saw somebody who won the Democratic primary four, three years ago who hadn't been elected official. Uh, but I would still think that uh, Baker and uh, Francho would be the strongest contender. But I'll, I'll defer to Ron on whether or not that makes sense or not. Well, Ron, the same question, I, and, and I don't want you to be put in a position where you're given an endorsement. I mean, but what is your assessment of the race so far? You know, I, I like to think that any endorsement, if one is ever made by me, would, would happen after the filing deadline is closed. So I think there'll be a couple more people uh, that identify themselves as contenders. Um, but I think what, what historically uh, we need to be conscientious of is that for our uh, gubernatorial races, Maryland appears to be more purple than blue or red. Uh, we also have to, to be cognizant of uh, Tom Perez's uh, contributions to the state of Maryland uh, are pretty extensive as well. He has a history here in the state and uh, as a, a former um, member of the Obama administration's cabinet, uh, may have some additional um, support that has not yet made itself clear. So I think um, once the once the the race deadline closes and we see who the active players are and and how the the lieutenant governor's uh, choices line up, we'll have a clear victor at that point. Maryland, you know, Montgomery County, Howard County, Prince George's County all typically have uh, frontline contenders for these gubernatorial races. So at a, at a minimum, it's gonna be fun. Um, spending will be wild and um, we should have a, a pretty thorough and informed race from the Democrats. I, I think what's, what's really notable is that four, at least four of the candidates are from Montgomery County. Yes. And we really don't have a Baltimore County um, uh, can, you know, uh, candidate running. So you've seen uh, the power shift, you know, dramatically from Baltimore County and Baltimore City to uh, to Montgomery County and Prince George's. Uh, it's still early. Too early? Come no, on, it's, still, it's, still, it's still early. It's still early. I think, you <laughs> know, ducks are being lined up and, and people, you know, trying to shake out who's going to be the best representative from, from that jurisdiction. And I think we'll, we'll have another candidate in, in another week or so. And, and you know the Baltimore Sun editorial page will not like Montgomery County having its, uh, its dues. <laughs> well, Long and well, They don't battle. even cover Montgomery County in the Baltimore Sun. You know, it's pathetic. You know, I, I read the Sun every day. <laughs> you know, maybe one line a week about Montgomery County. But, uh, Mark, let me ask you something. You know, you know, without going giving your endorsement, which re, you know, there are two Republicans running, or at least have, have announced. Uh, will there be more? And which one is the strongest right now? Well, I think Kelly Schultz has really inherited the mantle of the sort of Larry Hogan. Uh, is probably without question the strongest candidate. Obviously, Robert Ficker is running as well, but uh, um, the elected officials and others, finance people are really coalescing on Kelly Schultz's campaign. And she is running in tandem with Barry Glassman, who's also, who's a county executive who is running uh, what could be a very competitive race for controller. Well, the, the, you know, the, the question always is, you know, uh, even though uh, two out of the last three governors have been Republican, you know, is the difficulty in winning a statewide a statewide election, and it really depends on who emerges from the Democratic uh, uh, primary. Mm -hmm.